crazy. What's up? We're gonna do this. Got a hat for you? Why do I feel like a peewee fisherman? Wayne is teaching me about the art of mating. This is disgusting. So you see there's some fish right there. See it? Chefs are nuts and they are partiers. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! People will fish their whole lives and not catch a blue fish that big. I feel like I just gave birth. That's a big fish. I'm Tom Colicchio, and I'm in the food business. From restaurants to reality TV, my true passion is fishing. No matter the size of the catch, I always love a good fight. And on my show, we've always got something or someone on the hook. This is Hooked Up. Today I'm meeting with my old fishing partner, Captain Frank Crisitelli. He's taken us out fishing in New York Harbor, where he's been a top fishing guide for over 25 years. Hey! What's hey. so up, Frank? How's it going out there? Great. Awesome. Now we're just waiting around for my friend Andy Cohen to get here. Bravo executive and host of his own late night talk show, Watch What Happens Live, and author of his recent release memoir entitled, Most Talkative. You know, this guy knows just about everything about pop culture, but I doubt he has much experience fishing New York Harbor. I think it's a nice day for fishing, but given that I know nothing about fishing, I really couldn't say. It seems like it. I haven't fished since Camp Nebagaman in Lake Nebagaman, Wisconsin, many years ago. I think Reagan was president. I just remember putting worms on the thing. Am I gonna have to do that? <sighs> what kind of fish are we gonna catch in this New York Harbor is what I'm wondering. I am what I would call a Jewish adventurist, meaning I'm an adventurist with asterisks. I consider Colicchio inviting me fishing a safe bet. Tom and I don't see each other often, but when we do see each other, we make it count. Andy. What's up? I'm good, how are you doing? We're gonna do this. How's it going? I'm so excited. You got your fish shirt on? Yeah. yeah. Theme oh, dressing. Theme dress oh, yeah, okay. exactly. You know what? I'm glad you said you're at the theme dressing, because okay. I got some stuff for you. Cool. Look, I got a vest for you, a nice fishing vest. I love it. I gotta put that on. Very fashion forward these I days. Am so butch. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh, we're, oh, we're gonna... Yeah, I just got a fishing vest on. Is this some gear? Some is oh no. Are these like leather chaps or something? Oh. Wow. You got you geared up. Okay, am I literally yeah, putting yeah, these yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. Oh, these are kind of comfy. I mean they're not assless, but you know. Okay. We try. I like an assless chap, <laughs> but how does my ass look is the question. Okay, it's exciting. Boat? Andy, Frank. How you doing, Captain Frank? Good, good, how so, are you? Good, how do I look in my gear? Uh, well, you're not complete, really, I. Oh my God, I got more gear? This would make it really, um, I mean, that why, would be perfect. Why do I feel like a peewee fisherman right now? Exactly. For some reason. He's not your friend, is you? <laughs> he shouldn't have dressed you that way, because you would only dress that way if you were going into a stream trout fishing. Oh. But we well, figured I mean, you, you were okay with he it. Just, he knows I like a, some gear. This is Wayne. He'll be mating for us. Hey, Wayne. He's going to land all You're going to be mating fish for us? Yes. yes, sir. What does that mean? I'll be taking care of all your tackle and getting you hooked up with some fish. Hey, he's not like our stud or anything like that. I don't know what you said, but I like it. Let's go. Let's go. So the New York Harbor, I mean, is most people don't expect it. You live in New York City. Yeah. There is tremendous fishing right outside the Verrazano Narrow Bridge. Wow. Even up both rivers. And the fish are clean and the water is good? Yeah, yeah. The water is actually very clean right now. The only time you don't want to be around this water is after heavy rain. Really? Yeah. It's, everything gets flushed out of the sewers. Uh oh. We launched from Chelsea Piers. And what most people don't know is just minutes from downtown Manhattan, it offers some truly spectacular urban fishing. And it's fall. It's the best time to hunt for stripers, bluefish, and false albacore. Tom wanted to make it as absolutely as hard as he could for me. So that's why we start at 12 o'clock. No, we start at 12 o'clock because this guy can't wake up early. <laughs> well, excuse me. Daddy hosts a late night show. Yeah. So I don't like to wake up at the crack of dawn to fish because I'm... 
I'm just recovering, recovering at that point. Right. Yes. And I was up at 5:30 with the kids. Well, that's yeah, yeah. that's your problem. <laughs> you 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 stay in your lane. I'll stay in my lane. All right. Will and Grace or Modern Family? You know, I'm gonna go with the classic Will and Grace. I love Modern Family, but you know what? I can't get enough of Karen and Jack. So I gotta go with Will and Grace. Let's talk TV. Figure I got you on a boat, we'll talk TV. Talk TV on a boat? Yeah. I like it. Well, what was it though? What drew you to it? It just seemed fun. It seemed exciting, magical, bigger than life. I always say about TV, you don't work in TV, you get to work in TV. Yeah, okay, all right. It just seemed like something, I couldn't believe that there was an actual business. Right, a job, right, right. So it just seemed fun. Right, but, but you, you wanted to be in front of the camera. I knew I wanted to be in it, and at first I wanted to be in front of the camera, and as I got involved in TV, I realized, wow, I could move to New York and work behind the scenes and have a great life, because I wanted to be um, on the air in news. I just moved to New York and said, wow, I'm just gonna work behind the scenes, and I did at CBS News for 10 years. The fact that I wound up on the air is so wild uh, all those years later. I guess the, your, your book is entitled Most, Most Talkative. Talkative. I was always getting in trouble for talking too much. We've been on the set of Top Chef, and these guys have been doing Judges Table, and I've either walked into the shot in like Hawaii at the finale, right. or I'm just yapping and they're like, Andy, shut the- We just figured you want to be on camera that bad. This is well, before did, you had a show. Hawaii was before you had a show. Hey Frank, slow down a sec. I want to get a picture of the, uh, the tower. Doesn't it warm your heart see that tower yes, every day? it does, actually. It is so great for us all to see that building going up. Oh, see, this is amazing. I haven't seen it from this point of view. Good angle. I love to see that building. Don't miss Hooked Up. I'll be trekking across the globe looking for some really big fish and talking to some really cool people, like my friend here, Andy Cohen. Yeah. Click here to subscribe. It's only on the Reserve channel, only on YouTube.